underway momentarily. If you're watching in California, thanks for joining us at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 7 o'clock here Eastern Time. So let's give the line up. Says California United Strikers starting 11. We've got uh, Jean Germain Antoine in goal. Um, we've got across the back in their defence, we've got Hogbin, Bowers, Garcia Lopez, and Suera. In the midfield, Liborio, Lopez, Villalobos, Cadono, and Kalashima up front. Nuno, Omar Nuno, their great striker. So uh, Don Ebert's the head coach. Don's got tons of experience playing at all levels. So glad to have Don and his team here tonight. Let's show you Chattanooga. Pretty much the same team played on Saturday. The only slight change, of course, is uh, Flickman Oates over. Travis Ward starting in place of Greg Stratton, the goal scorer. So familiar names from uh, Saturday's game. We've got Kevin Gonzalez in goal. Ward Martinez, Strickland and Robertson across the back. Cerro Dixon, the captain, in the midfield with Alex McGrath. And then up front, Gray, Nagelstadt and Alex Jaime Jaimes. Uh, our coach, of course, the great with Underwood. And uh, so a very familiar team from last Saturday. It worked well on Saturday, so why not do it again tonight? So that's what we've got. A lot of regular players. Uh, should be a great game tonight. Looking forward to seeing both these teams in action. Heard a lot about Cal United. Seen them on video, not seen them up front. We play live this season, so looking forward to that. Referee tonight is Carl Johnston, the assistant referees Kelvin Hewitt, Leela Ramash, and fourth official Lauren Gray. A couple of ladies out there, which is great to see the ladies get involved in the refereeing. If you watch the Euro Championships, the Women's Euros, of course, tons of female officials. Always great to have the ladies involved in the game and doing their thing. It's great. So, that further ado, it's about 72 right now. It's a little humid after the rain, but the rain has stopped, and uh, we'll get the game underway momentarily. The field is drying out nice, there's a few slick spots, nothing major. And so yeah, looking forward to a great game. So uh, get comfortable. And we were about to bring you Chattanooga FC versus Cal United Strikers live here on the 11 Sports. Here's uh, Antoine there in the gold, you can really spot him in that purple, really going to stand out. But uh, all the way from Haiti, a great player, looking forward to seeing him in action. He was at Detroit City as well, and also at 1904 FC before coming here. Uh, he has 10 clean sheets this season so far, so uh, not to be sniffed at. Clearly a good goalkeeper, but uh, I know Kevin Gonzalez is up there too, in the, almost in that range, so like I said, it's going to be a close one tonight, folks. Cal United about to get us in the way. Off we go. Chattanooga starting a little with a high press. They started with this against the Volcats, and it seemed to pay off on Saturday. We'll see if uh, Cal United respond the same way. down the right wing here. Nice pass. Can they get moving? Broken up. And that goes out for a cor uh, corner kick. Cal United, the first corner kick of the game. Chattanooga is setting up the defence here. Let's see how they do with this Chick-fil-A corner kick. Early action, see if California got something they bought with them special, and that goes right through the box. Cleared away. Marcus now gets that hoof that away to the halfway line. Danger averted. Chatting the throw.
Ben Channing are playing the same formation as I said on Saturday, so everybody's kind of back in the groove after a three-day break. Everybody knows who's going to be behind them, who's going to be in front of them. It should uh, help with the rhythm of the game. Talked with some of the fans during the week about this, and uh, they said that the impression they're getting the Challengers play this season is they're looking a bit more joined up, which sounds like an odd way to describe it, but it sounds like uh, everything is just synchronising very nicely. So uh, joined up is, you know, accurate passes, things like that. That's what we're going to see tonight. I'm expecting to see more of that. A little bit long there for how time is that one. Out for a goal kick, quickly taken. So I said Cal United on their East Coast tour right now this week. They, uh, they beat the Michigan Stars on uh, Saturday 1-0 up in Michigan, which uh, helps Chattanooga's placing in the league, of course. And uh, before that, they lost to Maryland Bobcats 0-1. They played in Maryland. So uh, we were here beating the Bobcats here in Michigan. I've got to tell you, on Saturday, too, we had nearly 3,500 fans in the stadium, which was really good on Saturday night. So, uh, great to have them all here. I know it's hard to be here on a Wednesday night, but those who are here are making a lot of noise. And uh, got a good crowd tonight. It's a little bit busy over here on the, on the wings, which you only get as the teams get going in the first part of the game. At uh, Chattanooga on the 11th game, unbeaten streak going back to April. And uh, the last five games are 1-1, uh, one, one, tied, tied and 1. Putting them 7 points and 13 goals ahead of the Michigan Stars, the nearest team on the table with them with a game in hand. So Chattanooga sitting pretty. Not quite as pretty as Cal United are being, uh, I think it's 15 points ahead. So uh, the Bay Cities, so they're certainly in a great place in their league. Robson the long ball, trying to find home, it's not quite right there. Good idea though. So again, familiar back four, as I said, Ward, Martinez, Tripping and Robinson, they all played together before. So, uh, you usually look fairly calm, fairly solid. And of course, Travis Ward was up here a couple of weeks ago talking to me. So you've got to hear a bit about Travis Ward, I hope to. Maybe bring you a few more interviews during the course of the season as players uh, have time for it. There's a nice turn. Look, bit of a foul there. <laughs> but, uh, no hurt, nobody hurt. K Knight's being a lot of time on this right wing. That seems to be the area they want to attack from. We've got Seguera open on this side, on the left wing, not using them quite as much as they might be. Now Chapman getting trying to break. Jamez gets punched over in front of the referee, recovers nicely though, keeps going. Referee says play the advantage. Taylor Gray just hasn't got the legs of that one, a little bit too strong. So, talking to Taylor Gray, there's a uh, really good interview with Taylor Gray in today's Times Free Press here. A very good article by our colleague Gene Henley we see her all the time in the games and uh, if you get a chance catch that one online or uh, on a paper copy of the Times Free Press sports page today and uh, really interesting article about Taylor and how he's enjoying playing at Chattanooga oh charge down the Kevin's eyes charge down that great Chattanooga throw But uh, Nuno is going to be marked by Colin Stripling tonight, both tall six footers. Give an interesting battle between those two. Keep an eye on those. those there's Nuno getting away with the orange boots on. So uh, I'll be watching those two closely and also the uh, 
We'll wait and see if uh, Lopez comes on to play up front as well. Oh wait, Lope, let me check the move up. Lopez is on. We've got the Lopez is mixed up. Sorry there. <laughs> yes, he is. He, they're both on. <laughs> Lopez and Nuno out together. Switch sides. So then come down the left wing instead of the right wing. Now Taylor Gray. So matches speed up against the cow defence. Nice touch to Nagelstadt. Push and shove in there. The referee sees nothing wrong. Ian Serra pops it back to Kevin Gonzalez. Frankie Martinez to Kevin Gonzalez. Frankie Martinez had his birthday yesterday, so happy birthday to Frankie. He is 27 yesterday. It is. Reading it across now, step a little strong. Now a break on. Can the Cali Knight get through? Richard Dixon hustling them. Karashima coming down the left side. Richard Dixon takes care of that, cleans up. Tate Robertson takes the other half of it and says thank you. Job done. Out for a turn and throw. throw the Cal United. I think the fans thought that one stuck, kept mugs, now it's like kept that in, but uh, referee says different. We're getting this moving with the throw, if you can find someone to throw it to. Cal, yeah, make your mind up. And he's walking down the line. Referee says, no, you've got to go back to the point where the ball crossed the line for the throw to come back in. Put in the set there. Can't be nice fighting for every ball here. This is not a team that's sitting back, which is why they're Top of the Western League, they aren't sitting back. <laughs> Gray keeping it moving. And what's that? Across the Cerro. Now, Cerro puts on the afterburners. Here he goes. Home is. Robertson. Cerro. Playing triangles here. Nice touch in. Alex McGrath gets the cross in. Too strong for Taylor Gray, but a great idea. Alex McGrath sneaking in, getting the cross in. Good move from Chattanooga to get behind the cow defence. Nice 
nice touch there. Need to watch those. The cow strikers are very much in tune, keeping that ball moving between each other. Now, that's the graph again. Plenty of space. Who's he got open? Comes inside. Tries to find Nagelstadt. Nagelstadt gets the shot, but it doesn't get the connection. And uh, doesn't bother Antoine too much. Grath wins the ball back. Cerro cleans it up. Chattanooga calm. Taylor Gray gets away from his marker, gets the ball across. Not quite to Nagels, that's past, but so close he gets that to connect. Chattanooga are going to be in a good place. Travis Ward now playing way up on the left wing. Peter Gray trying to come through, wins a corner, gets a deflection. It's the uh, deflection of Garcia Lopez, Chattanooga's first corner of the game after 14 minutes. We're going to have to take the corner. Another Chick fil A corner. Big cluster of players in the mouth of the goal. Swinging it in. Headed away. Good break there. Carroll trying to make the break, but good clean up tackle there. Take Robertson all the way across on the left side instead of the right, which just cleans up with a very good tackle. Slides it out for the throw to Cal United. Trying to try and set to Taylor Gray off down that side, just pops out across the line. Playing a little bit close to the line, but it's working when Taylor gets the break. And we know how dangerous he can be after those goals on uh, on Saturday. And that's a good steal from Alex McGrath. He gets pushed in the back for his trouble. The referee does not like that. And Ward's a free kick. Alex got round the defender. And the defender was kind of surprised and pushed him down. And a yellow card. First yellow of the night. There we are. There's always a yellow card somewhere. The low boss gets the first yellow. Of the night. Yellow card sponsored by Captain White McGarvey. If you've got foul vision, go see Captain White McGarvey, get it taken care of. This is a good distance for Marcus Nagelstadt. He's popped in goals from here before. So he's over this with McGrath and Cerro. Looks like a last minute instruction from Chris Nugent on the bench. And there's Ward coming over a bit of advice. Let's see what Chattanooga to do with this. Really make Antoine stretch McGrath. There's the shot. Oh, just the right of the post. Out of Antoine's reach, just a little bit uh, slightly off target. Chattanooga with the first real attempt on goal of the game after 17 minutes. And it's been that evenly matched. I suspect we may not see that many shots on goal because both teams are, as I said earlier at the beginning, are pretty well matched. Nice touch there, dust offside. Nuno just offside there. He is going to be watching him very closely during this game. 
Kevin Gonzalez with the free kick for the offside. Good long one to Taylor Gray. Pops it out for a throw. These fleck-ons that the defender Lopez and Nuno are doing are really good for getting behind defenders. Frankie Martinez giving away a corner there, but uh, taking the danger and the sting out of that one. Cal with their second corner of the night so far. Chick-fil-A corner kick, two of them over it, and it's going to go short or long, let's see. Nope, going long. Swinging it in the box. Collins Stripling clears it, Marcus Magelstadt once again hoofs it past the halfway line. Danger. They're gone. And Chattanooga push up, flooding the players up, trying to set the offside trap. As soon as they can do, Richard Dixon steaming in there. Team were back to Antoine. Bit of a bump of heads there. Four players going for the ball. in, still nil-nil. Taylor Gray gets pulled down. The referee says, yep, you better stop that. That's a foul. Nagel's that just too long. Nice idea. So, goal kick to Cal. Good foot skills there. Now McGrath again. He's got two on him. He's got Jaime. There he comes. Take Robertson. Take looking up. Plenty of time. McGrath into traffic. Cerro picks up. Cerro trying to find space. And again, nice back to McGrath. Now McGrath can look up. And uh, ends up with a throw in. Right underneath the chat hooligans. Rather a noisy place to make a throw in. making the break. Travis Ward right on them. That's out for a throw to Chattanooga. Cal starting to get a bit physical here. Chattanooga up to it. But it's uh, keeping the push on. Chattanooga now with all four back and Cal with four strikers up too. Realise they're going to have to maybe try some more numbers up there to get an impact. Nice ball through at Robertson. He's got space. Looks up into the path of Gray. Gray gets it. Cannot get control. It just gets away from him. Gets it on his chest, but it just gets away. And Taylor can't get it under control. But that would have been very dangerous if he got his foot on that. Now it's Cerro feeds Nagelstadt. Nagelstadt looks up, puts it through to Jaimez. Again, that just bobbles away from him. Good. It's keeping the goalkeeper from Antoine. Came out and grabbed that right under Alex's feet. 
clearance and it gets as far as Richard Dixon. Ian Soro again is there to stabilise things. Martinez back to Stripling, back to Cerro trying to find that gap for Chanuk. Oh, Cerro gets cut down there. I think the referee needs a little word about that one. Let's see that again because Ian Cerro got away from his. Uh, of his man, but uh, he'll make it the second time. Here he goes, cuts him down, yep, not good. Play resumes, Ian's okay though, he's off and about. Nice flick on from Robertson there, interceptor. Bowers is having a good game down there, trying to keep uh, Chattanooga's attack under control. Martinez puts it through, deflected. Now a chance for Cal to make a move. Chattanooga with the numbers forward. Bit of a tussle, but no foul. Oh, now the referee's called the foul. <laughs> I was going to say, there's a bit of, bit of pushing and shoving there, a bit of kicking. The referee didn't like that. Frankie Martinez kicking the ball away. That is classified by FIFA as dissent. See what he does about that. Some referees pop out a card for that, but uh, I think a word in the ear is enough this time. Could don't know getting a knock there. I think he's okay. Free kick to Cal at the halfway line. Swung across to Seguero with a little bit strong. No, to Bowers, sorry. A little bit strong, that one. <laughs> Sarms the person taking the free kick. He's got great faith in the person receiving it. Kirishima can't keep it in. And he will push back Travis Ward on the left side. Now about to come forward at the left wing. Tate Robson, that ball bobbled a bit. Trying to slide it through to Jaimez. Can he get to it? Is it just runs out? I think that field is still a little bit slick from the rain. And the ball is running pretty fast. Good turn there. Lopez trying to make some danger here, stripping right on him. Dispossessed, Lopez gets it back, takes a shot. And offside called on the far side. The official's got uh, her flag up on the far side. And an offside. Just got slightly ahead of the play there. And Kevin Gonzalez to take the free kick. Throw there, a little bit too strong on that kick. A 
Now cow building up. Oops, well that went right through his foot. I didn't <laughs> think he meant to do that. <laughs> Each time Cal makes the attack, there's a chat and a player waiting to shut it down. They're no, just trying something different. That's what they're good at. That's why they're top of their league. So I'm expecting to see a bit of variation of pushing the back from Marcus Nagels out there on uh, Bowers and the uh, referees and like that. So free kick to Cal. Cross, Kevin Gonzalez in the end of that one. which is the folk on possession. Not the panic, he just keeps steady. Yeah, take Robertson. Feeding it through to Jaimez. Travis Ward. Can't find Nagelstadt. Right idea, but Shannon will get possession back. Taylor Gray on the far side. Graf has come over to cover on the left side. Richard Dixon back to Martinez. Stripling right at the back, but keeping it calm, keeping it cool. Dixon trying to find that. That great touch onto McGrath. Is he going to shoot? Nope. Can Alex get hold of that one? Alex is offside. <laughs> what a shame. That was a good idea. Kick the offside taken quickly, Chattanooga pushing up, Karashima on the left wing. Looking for Lopez and Nuno. Lopez. Oh, what a good tackle. Alex McGrath all the way back from the box to his own box and just touches that one out for a throw. Headed away, Stripling getting that one clear, and that'll be a Cal United throw on the far side. Did Borio the corner kick man there? A little bit strong on that one, he's made some good corners, that one's a little bit too powerful. Shot. That's too high. Cal taking the shots a bit further out because they're just trying to make something happen here. Kamashima probably get a bit closer with that shot, but uh, had a go anyway. throw from Bowers. Martinez wrestling for the ball and wins it. Good defending. Cal trying to find a gap in the Chattanooga defence so they can get in. Chattanooga holding on pretty well so far. But, uh, Cal certainly being very versatile in their attacks. Moving from side to side and trying different angles. Jaimez 
all the way across. Cerro looks up, puts it in the box. Good interception. Time is again. Back to Dixon. Dixon blows it down a bit. So just over half an hour played, still nil-nil. But uh, absorbing the watch. Two teams that are very closely matched indeed. And having slightly more attempts on goal, but uh, it's close. Nagelstadt, that's a great ball. Alex Jaimez gets the cross in. Just too high. <laughs> Just too much on that one from the graph. Taylor Gray cleans up, still in play. Taylor Gray comes in. Chips it in. Keeper has to push it over the top of the bar and the roof of the net. Antoine really having to work there. Having a word with the referee. Thinks he was fouled, I believe. He's having a complaint to the referee about that. But the referee says, nothing doing. Chattanooga corner kick. Another Chick-fil-A corner kick on the far side. McGrath to take this one. He sees a bit of pushing and shoving in the box. That's to uh, discourage that. I can't think they ever stop them doing it. They all do it all the time. All the players do it. There's a corner. <laughs> a lot of cuddling and pushing and hugging going on in there. Not, not a good kind either. But that's just soccer. McGrath swings it in. Antoine right at the end of that one. A good save. Gets hold of it and comes to the ground. Good goalkeeping. Cal trying the long ball, and that is long and out for a throw. So long trying to find out, time is then not quite getting it. And then for the header back to Martinez, all the way back. Travis Ward making space for himself. Some good turns, turns again. Each turn makes space. If you're learning how to play soccer, as a youngster watching this, turns the way you make space in the field when somebody's close to you. a bit loose, bouncing around head to head. Some of these days, and Richard Dixon gets it on the ground. Haim is taken down from behind. Pretty hard, referee calls a foul on that one. Quick work with, uh, I think it was Livorio took that one out. Put Underwood on the touch lines. Advising his players, a bit of a quick tip there, something he's seen in the structure of the game that he wants them to change or to take the advantage of. Collins dribbling over the free kick. Martinez and Nuno keeps pressing a little bit but it's not really getting to him and that pass is a bit too strong pops out for throw on the far side to Chattanooga 10 minutes more play in the first half to go can't see a whole lot of stoppage time maybe a minute to be added on at the end but uh, so far 10 minutes to go nil nil is that about to change Oh, that. He's going to do that and pass it to, to Jaime. <laughs> still getting that. Still got possession. Look at that. Finding two off. Excellent play. The graph to Dixon. Dixon's got Nagelstadt open. He's got Ward open. Ward gets it. Back to uh, Gray. He gets the ball in. Doesn't get the follow it. Can't clear it. Martinez takes it calmly at the stripling to Dixon and Chattanooga get a reset.
Now, Taylor Gray in space. Is he going to shoot? He's going to lob it over to McGrath. Nagelstadt can't get the shot. A good chest down from Alex McGrath. And Marcus Nagelstadt there just uh, not able to get the connection. But uh, if he had, that would have been the next goal for, for uh, Marcus. Oh, that one bobbled away. Cero missed it. No, Cero hit it. <laughs> Laborio missed it. Taylor Gray missed it. <laughs> Back on with Cal United on the right wing. Cal up for an attack. Taylor Gray down the middle of the field. Completely different position, but that's okay. Good long ball there. Can Hymen get that? Come on, Alex, run. Can't quite get their goal ball back to Antoine from Boas. <laughs> Sarah looking up that, a bit strong to play but I think he'll keep it in. Yeah, he's got that. Gives Chattanooga a chance to get some attackers up. Harris Ward gets the shot in. Oh, good save from Antoine. Punches it away. Can't really get hold of it. Cerro's trying to get it. Trying to get a shot in. Can't quite do it. Pushed out for Chattanooga throw on the front. Oh, good pressure from Chattanooga there. And a good shot from Travis Ward. A bit like Greg Stratton on Saturday thinking, well, I'm here. I've got a space. I'll have a go. In the 40th minute. Chattanooga be able to nick a goal here. McGrath hits it hard, low and left of the goal. Antoine had that one covered, I think, and uh, goal kick to Cal United. Cal United attacks pretty nicely. Dixon Serra gets pushed in the back by Laborio and goes down. The referee calls the foul. Still warm out there, 77 degrees, but uh, it's not that humidity after the rain went through, so it's uh, comfortable weather for playing soccer. Really good evening being in the stands tonight, and so we have a good, good crowd tonight making a lot of noise, so the rain hasn't kept them away. Yep, see, it's a beautiful night. Those clouds are sitting there, but they aren't doing anything, and it's just a uh, nice low cow cover, low humidity. It's quite pleasant for August in Chattanooga. break. She was open calling for it, feeds it back. McGrath sneaks in, Dixon cleans up. This is where the, the pass completion needs a slight improvement, I think. Although both sides have had a few of those, they haven't had the passes quite right. Travis Ward, round one man, look at that. Good play. Out to Gray, Gray's unmarked. Can he get in? Cerro. That's a nice touch. Nagelstadt can't get the shot. Just a good block. Out for a goal kick, but uh, good defending to get the between Marcus and Nagelstadt and the goal. Hawk in there getting in and stopping Marcus and Nagelstadt being dangerous. Now, Cal trying to break on. Here we go. Yeah. 
Good cross. Nobody there. Kawashima fries it again. And just runs out of real estate. And that's out for a goal kick. But uh, a little more dangerous than Cal United there. Getting the cross in. Out above Kevin Gonzalez's his reach. kick. Trying to find Gray. Gray gets it. Oh. Play goes on. More teams with a push on uh, Nuno, but uh, play goes on. Travis Ward back to Martinez again, Chattanooga. Seeing a little bit of more pressure on Cal United as they get to the end of the first half, but uh, able to take care of it. One of the uh, key there is to have visibility of your teammates, so wherever you happen to be, somebody's going to be visible to you. And I'm calling for it, or you can see them. You've got an outlet to keep the ball and keep possession. And they've really been quite good at that this year. So feeds it out to Robertson. Robertson coming down the right wing. Now inside. Yep, Nagelstadt open. Nagelstadt chips it through. McGrath chasing it. That's going to go out. And that's his fast, but he's not that fast. Um, with the free the goal kick um, the last minute of regulation play not sure how much extra time we're going to see it's like a minute I think from the fourth official let's see if we can get that confirmed as we end up regulation time yep one minute Leon Gray holding up the one minute board Added time, if you need more time for your business, speak to HHM. Now, Cerro got the break on, he's got uh, Ward and Gray open. Travis Ward to Gray, the last play of the game almost. Cerro can't get the connection. And back to Dixon. Dixon's got a man coming, but I'm sure he knows that he does. And Martinez stripping combining there. We get to half time, and if the time should be any moment, there it is. That's the referee blowing the whistle at the end of the first half. Nil nil, very evenly matched. Very enjoyable to watch. Chattanooga having more shots than Cal, but. Uh, doesn't mean Cal aren't going to be uh, still dangerous. So, very evenly matched indeed. Wednesday night. Thanks for joining us at 11 Sports. I'm Simon Neal. And I bring you the second half coverage. Still nil-nil after the first half. Lots of action, but uh, no goals just yet. As I said, before we broke, Chattanooga with the, the lion's share of strikes. And that one's out for a Cal United throw. You saw the, uh, the movie during halftime for our calls of the night which is the, uh, the company lab and a business incubator here in Chattanooga based in the Edney building. And I have got Tashia. Tashia Malacostas. Tashia Malacostas here who's from the company lab. She's going to tell us a bit about it. Tashia, tell us all about the company lab. Yes, so we're a startup accelerator, which really means that we help startup companies uh -huh. at scale. So if you are an organization in your beginnings, then we're going to help you by providing access to capital, access to talent, um, access to mentorships and programs that will help your business scale. 
better, faster, smarter, stronger. Very cool. Yeah. Now that's one of those things that Chattanooga is known for, for having small companies starting up, isn't it? Yeah, there's a very strong entrepreneurial support system here. And we really operate and focus on the, the scalable piece of that, not from the very beginning, from the ideation stage, but when you're ready to scale, we're, we are your partner. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. very good. I think yeah. you're seeing the referee back there. Are you going to give the yellow card for that? A little bit of a high boot there. Chattanooga getting the free kick in a dangerous place, and the, the Cal United players not enjoying that very much. Um, but yeah, coming up has got a bit of a connection because Sheldon Grizzle, who's one of our founders of Chattanooga FC, also founded Company Lab. Yes, and I know. I was yeah, friends, with, friends with Sheldon, we used to go to the Company Lab after hours and watch CFC streams <laughs> and away games. <laughs> well, that's what we can do again. So if you, if you can't watch the game here, then come to CoLab. There you go. Very, very <laughs> yeah, cool. Quite a legacy that. with Sheldon. Very yeah. cool. So how long has Company Lab been going? So uh, uh, just roughly 10 years, okay. yeah. So okay. and w very, very strong foundation in the community and, um, mm -hmm. and really from the beginning, so from launch to scale, and our evolution really has been to focus now on scalable ventures. Okay, yeah. very cool. Just seeing our second yellow card there. Let me interrupt you. Tony Lopez, number eight, gets the second yellow card for Cal Strikers tonight for that. And referee still having to get the... Uh, Cal Strike is organized, they're not, not to have that conceding this free kick, and as they see Mark and Nagelstadt and Taylor Gray are danger men over it, I'm not surprised they're upset. So let's see what they do. See if we can make something happen tonight, Mark, and Nagelstadt with that deadly right foot. Blocked off the wall, good defending from Cal United. So while you're here, Sheila, tell me any more about you want to tell us about the company lab while you're here? Any other things we should know? Yes, yeah, so what's a really exciting piece of where we are today in, the, in our evolution is we have um, a greater, a, the greatest access really to capital that we've ever had. So the, we are a non-profit. They are profit-based um, organizations such as ours, but we have the great access to capital that's come from the federal government, almost $4 million in matching equity um, access to capital, which is, which is uh, unprecedented really for us. That's so really it's good. a really exciting yep. time yep. to be yep. to be involved in Chattanooga entrepreneurial ecosystem. Definitely. How did uh, how did COVID affect your company and the, the companies that were there? Yeah, so I, f I feel like we responded really well, it d it, despite all of the challenges during um, the pandemic, that we were still operational, obviously, in a remote way. The whole world learned how to work remotely, mm -hmm. and, and we continued to do so. So with programs, just taking those online, and then um, and, and now we're back in the world where you can come and sit down with us and, 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 watch, uh, and watch soccer games. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I remember when we <laughs> Chattanooga FC was uh, something hit by COVID, and I was I was about one of the only people I could see a game live for about a year. So I was very very grateful I was able to do that and bring able to the coverage on the stream. So back then, um, but yeah, it was it was a strange time. But they always say that adversity is a chance for opportunity, don't they? Absolutely, and so nice to see everybody back in person. So Ooh. our 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 doors are open now. Good save from Kevin Gonzalez yes. there. Nice little move that Kelly uh, Knight have been practicing on on the practice ground with that one. Kevin Gonzalez right in the right place to save that one. But uh, Cal certainly coming out a little more aggressively than in the past. And that's uh, making it interesting. And Richard Dixon's clearance. I think that went out for a, a corner. It did. A little bit too strong on that one. So, so we'll see what Cal do from this corner. Certainly Cal coming out a little more aggressive. That was a throw-in. Sorry, a throw-in. <laughs> it was in the corner. It's right. A throw-in in the corner. How about that? Cal trying to get a shot away, Chattanooga. Fine for clearance here. Cal coming out a little stronger. Good tackle there from Dixon, no foul. The guy having to fight, play a bit of defense here. McGrath getting on with the benefit of that one. Now can Nagelstadt break. He's got McGrath inside. Nagelstadt holding up play, waiting for him to follow him in. Here come the rest of the team. But this year, you've been to a Chattanooga FC game before. Is this your first one? This is my first one. Oh, you're so and, lucky. And, yeah, the, and this is my <laughs> second one ever, yeah. Okay. Um, and, and very exciting. And I'm, and I'm loving all the enthusiasm that's down here. Are you, the getting, Chattahoo are you getting hooked on soccer? I think that's so. That's what we want. I think so. I think I need a drum, though. Okay. So where do I get one of those? Okay, just wander down to the hooligans <laughs> and uh, buy them a beer and they'll give you a drum. Oh, good. Okay, <laughs> absolutely. I can do that. I'll buy beers and I'll get a drum. There you if go. If that's all it takes. That, that's really it. It's very friendly. There's no rules. 
you haven't got to have membership card or pay I, any money to show up and have a good time. <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't want to hold the flag, though. Yeah, the flag's pretty heavy. Yeah. I, I, that, that's that's the job for our main our main man, Topa, who Look, is the flag man, and yeah, he'll fight you for it. So don't worry, he won't yeah, let you have yeah, it. Yeah, he'll probably win. Yeah, <laughs> I think. I don't know. Coming in for the break, good save from Ooh. Kevin, and a good two good saves from Kevin Gonzalez. Wow, back to back saves from two hard strikes. Excellent goalkeeper and Kevin Gonzalez keeping Chattanooga in the game. All right, Kashia, Very thank you so exciting. much for coming down. I yeah. really appreciate you coming uh, no, and for being so our calls of the night. Thank you so and much for having me. If we got any questions, how do we get hold of you? Do we go to your website or how yeah, do we yeah. reach so you? Yes, so collab.is is our website. And okay. we've got two very exciting um, pitch events, so sort of a um, Shark Tank-ish events in October that you can find out about. We'd love oh, to see everybody okay. there. Yeah, great. Yeah, for the entrepreneurs in budding. Yeah, okay. please come see us. Sounds like a lot of fun. So if you're thinking of starting your own business, this yeah. is the place to come. Absolutely. Thanks Great. so much for having me. Thank you for your time. Okay. Have a good evening. Thank you. So the second half, a little more feisty. Both teams are getting a little more physical. Had quite a few free kicks so far in the first five minutes. <laughs> So, uh, lots more action, lots more coaches off the bench. Chalice Wall keeping it just in. In Cerro getting into space. Got two on him. Cal's technique is to put two on somebody who's dangerous, and that seems to be working well for their defence. break here, just runs out and that's a, that's a corner, Travis Ward giving the corner away there, no, sorry, Ted Robson giving the corner away, Cal still keeping the pressure on, playing a little differently from the first half, certainly a lot more uh, intention to score, and the coach may have shouted that in the locker room possibly, <laughs> so another chick play corner kick, See what Cal do from this one. Kevin Gonzalez is having a good game so far. See if he can keep this one out of trouble. Now ah. have agonised me right across the front of the goal. Very frustrating for the County United players. United Chanuk having to adapt to the game a little bit, but uh, not too phased out, just having to adapt. Travis Ward going right through the midfield there, great play. On him, Taylor Robson on the far side, so it's got Taylor Gray overlapping. Taylor comes inside. Cerro. Very deep into the corner, but he's still got it. Nope. Not great, sorry. <laughs> Alex Hyman, sorry. These guys are not where they're supposed to be. Richard Dixon with a shot. That's uh, a little bit. Not where he wants it to go. <laughs> a goal kick to Cal. Jack also playing this tactic of changing position, which is designed to catch out the... Uh, the defenders, it's catching out me as well. Sorry, folks. And a Chick fil A corner kick, so on the uh, left side. Short one, McGrath to Cerro. Robertson to McGrath. McGrath diving in, getting the shot away. Antoine can't hold it, just keeps it <laughs> over the line. But a stinging shot from McGrath that uh, Antoine could not hold.
Let's see that again, because that was a great shot from Heights McGrath. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, Antoine just <laughs> keeping it in the right place. Good shot there. Cal across the box. Both sides really going for it now. Garcia Lopez, the defender there, putting it right across the box, looking for a Cal United head. Put it into the goal. Headed on. McGrath, Nagelstadt and uh, Gray combining there. Putting the pressure on. Cal getting the defenders back. Three blows for foul. Referee having love McGrath about kicking the ball away and he gets a yellow card for his trouble for, as I said, that counts as descent. So Alex McGrath getting the first yellow for Chattanooga. So, cricket to California on the halfway line. Swinging it in the top of the box. Travis Ward, good recovery in defending there. Dixon out to Gray. He's got men over. It's the ball back, that's all right, it's good to control. McGrath stays calm. Back to Dixon in the middle for Martinez. Slips it across to Robertson on the right wing. Good recovery, Cerro. Back to that Our midfield anchor man, Mr. Dixon. Gray on the left wing again. Cow up and we put two players on Gray to keep under control. Robertson gets it, gets the deflection back. Now, out time is. Travis Ward dancing forward. I find Nagelstadt. And uh, now that gives a foul away intentionally. No subs yet. We've played almost an hour. None of the coach decided to put subs on just yet, but they should soon. Both sides have players warming up off camera. So an hour in, still nil-nil. Is it possible that the, uh, the top team in each, uh, in each division will cancel each other out? We'll see. Yep. Foul called there. On Taylor Gray, taken quickly. Trying to want to keep the momentum building here. How you feel there? Turn to be on the front foot after Cowell's early start where they came out really pretty hot out of the locker room. Trying to go up to slow things down and start to get control of the game again. And what we're seeing in the first half where there's a lot of Chattanooga players in the opposing half, we're seeing it again now. Reinsman calls that one for a badly taken throw. And Payton Chattanooga with it back. Back in the play. ball from Travis Ward a bit too long. Can't deny that that one trickle out. Oh, a goal kick.
of this game tonight, Chattanooga away on Saturday at Syracuse Pulse back up, up in New York. And then on the 20th, they're back at Finley Stadium, home to Michigan Stars, the uh, second place team in the Eastern Division. Taylor Gray here now, he's got, still got the two on him. And wins a corner. A bit of defending by Cal, but uh, Taylor takes advantage of that and wins the corner. It's the battle of the 22s down there, Taylor Gray against Garcia Lopez. Um, and then, as I was saying, back here on the 20th, the Michigan Stars away again on the 27th at uh, Maryland Bobcats, then back in Chattanooga on the 31st of August. We've got a home game with Metro Louisville FC or the UPSL. Should be interesting too. So lots and lots of soccer in August. If you've got that season ticket, you're going to get your money's worth this month for certain. If not, go to cfcticks.com and get yourself a... Uh, a bunch of game passes you can use for any game during the season. And also if you go to cfcticks.com, you're getting a discount to buy them for the game too. So you can get uh, good discounts if you want to bring the family and the kids. Nice overlap there, Ted Robertson getting the cross in. Here he comes, round two, ships it across. Bit of a collision there. An offside call. A tussle there. Alex McGrath and uh, the goalkeeper trap. There's a bit of a tussle, but they're all good. Okay, first substitution for uh, Cal United Strikers. On comes number 24. Perez, who is a defender. Let's see who comes off. Defender for defender, I assume. Yeah, Lopez twenty Garcia Lopez twenty two coming off. Got a foul there. Carry Martin going in a bit hard. McGrath Alex doesn't go down too easily, so must hit him pretty hard. Martinez O with free kick. Taylor Gray get on the end of that one. Keep it in. Who's there? Alex Jaimez. Alex. Oh, off the bar. Wow. Good shot. Well, Alex Jaimez there. It hits the bar. Chattanooga's best chance so far. See that again. Get space. Look at that. Way beats Antoine easily. Cal United to stab that one away. But Cal United in response to that was an attack on the left wing that uh, didn't come to anything. But a quick response. Chattanooga's turn to try and break. Both sides going a little harder on the ball now and not holding off. Seeing there's quite a few more collisions and Players are getting knocks. Cal got a player down on the near side. Referee's running over to the bottom of your screen to take a look at, I think it's number two. Yep. Number two, Seguero. Seguero? I hope I'm saying that one right. I'm not, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, slight pause. Everybody gets a water break. Right, he gets checked over. And uh, coaches get shots to confer with the players. 
Over two thirds of the game played, still nil nil. It is very tight as the, each team from the top of each division meets up. It is, we've talked about this at half time with some of the other folks in the media room and the uh, sports writers, and it's, it's hard to call. So, it may just be a, a one goal game, we'll see. By the way, it's exciting to watch. It is fast and it is end-to-end, -end, and that's great. All right, players hydrated. Hope you are too. And uh, we're back underway momentarily. Looks like we're going to another substitution for Cal United strikers. Number 15 coming on. Yeah, he's on. That is Vedanamikam. If I'm saying his name right, there he is, with an Amicam. And they're taking off Lopez, we've got the yellow card, so the Amicam is going to be the striker. He's going to take off one of your key strikers there. Two front players, still Nuno and Vodakamanam now with uh, Karashkin and the low boss up behind them. There's Ward in space and time, here we go. Dixon sliding those passes through just like down the slot, very clever, look at that. Dixon back to McGrath, to McGray. Cal break it up. Stripling breaks it up. Back to Martinez. Let's it run for Gonzalez. Chattanooga again. Keeping it under control. Back to Travis Ward. And you run out of space. Yeah, it makes the turn. Doesn't run out of space. Trying to find Taylor Gray. Runs down all the way back to Ron Swan in the goal. 70th minute, nil-nil. <laughs> Next 20 minutes should be very exciting. Now Cal on the break on the left wing. There's the cross. Touched over. <laughs> Martinez gets the touch and stops the on-rushing strikers from doing anything dangerous. Nuno is right behind him. So, what they call a calculated risk to put that one away. Cal's corner from the near side. This is another Chick-fil-A corner. I want to see that again. Let me see that again. Oh, look at this. Look at that touch. I mean, that is brave and controlled to put it over the bar like that because we've seen a lot of goals going from there. Even at top level games we've seen mistakes. We saw some in the Premier League at the uh, open day on Saturday with some terrible own goals. So. Hooligans making lots of noise, encouraging the team to go on. Is, is, oh no, and there's the goal. Was that the Danikam? A nice headed flick into the corner. And Cal United take the lead in the 71st minute. Let's see that again. Now, Chattanooga can't sit back. They're going to have to go for that.
that's a high foot thing. That's a foul call there. Yep. Looking at uh, Alex Jaimez there. See what the referee does about that. He's got a yellow card ready. Okay, he's okay. Like, uh, he was getting the yellow card on that one. gets the yellow card for that high shot. So chips it in, deflects out, Antoine punches it away. Yellow card, of course, sponsored by Kaplan White and McGarvey. If you've got a foul vision, please go see Kaplan White and McGarvey get it corrected. Chandler winning the throw on the near side there. regroup a little bit here after that uh, surprise goal in the 71st minute. The question is will Cal United be happy to sit back on a goal lead or go for a second? You know we'll go for a second. Let's see. Nuno trying to feed the ball through. Gonzalez is that one. down before as you'll know from their history so they have a way to come back and we'll see if they're able to do that again in a moment 75 minutes played still 15 regulation maybe some stuff you on the end of that so quite a bit of time to do some magic Sarah and Gray way up there together. Sarah just teasing the defence a bit. <laughs> to Martinez, plenty of space. And trying to find Gray. Gray gets it, spun up the tackle. Gray again using his speed, gets the cross in. Oh, cannot get someone there. Richard Dixon cleans up. Tate Robertson. Behind us on open up next to him. There's the chip in. Jaimez can't quite get there. Now trying to come away that get a winning throw on the far side. Substitution. Like Chattanooga having a substitution. Alex Jaimez coming off. Brett Jones comes on on that right wing to replace Hyde Jaimez. That's our first Chattanooga substitution of the night. Sponsored by Martins. Thank you, Martins. See if fresh legs can make a difference. Cerro all the way up there. Speaking of the grey. Gray goes down the box, gets a push. Crowd yells for a penalty. The referee says nothing doing. Cerro fighting to get the ball back. From Travis Ward looking up. McGrath, Chandler is taking their time, building his back up again. Chandler drilling it into the box. Allowing to push it away. Richard Dixon brings it forward. Chattanooga able to put the pressure on it. Everything's in the California half right now. Chattanooga are turning the screw a little bit. Take 
Robertson. Trying to find Brett Jones. Good defending from Cal, but they give away a throw in on the far side. Danger is not over yet. Nice ball there, Brett Jones. Using his speed, is he going to get just runs out of real estate and runs out of signboards as well. Referee wants to talk to the cow defenders and telling them to <laughs> keep it cool. All right, Antoine gets it back into play. on. Cal streaking down the left wing, trying to find someone in the middle to get it to. Still there. There's a space there and dragged across the goal. That was a great opportunity there. Just dragged across the goal by the, the Dominican. But, uh, a good look at the goal there, could have been dangerous, could have made it two and put the game out of Chattanooga's reach. Chattanooga breathe again. Now Marcus Nagelstadt fighting for it there, sets Taylor Gray off, Taylor Gray streaking in, using his speed. Perez having to streak across there and clear that one for a throw. Taken quickly. Trying to keep in possession of where the clock is ticking. Gray again. Look at that. Ducking and diving just can't get the shot in and it just goes past the past the far post. More collision there with the defender too. Taylor gets up and walks away. Perez down there, who got knocked over. Let's see if it is. Hopefully he's okay after that. No subs just yet waiting to come on. We've had a couple, but not uh, not that many. Players taking the chance to hydrate. Well, this is going on. Still hot out there, it's not as hot as it was, but it's still everyone's getting through a lot of fluids. No doubt about that. And it's down to 75 degrees, so definitely get it. Still hot for soccer. Garcia Lopez has got the knock, I think. He may be subbed out. We'll see what happens. If he may be okay to come back. I hope he's okay. One of those collisions that happens in soccer, which we talk about every week. Yep, he's back on. Just offside. Rick Jones just crept offside at these steps. Free kick to Cal on the far side. Cal 
looking dangerous trying to come inside. No foul, no. It's a clean tackle. So, well played uh, on the far side by Colin Stripling. Nice long ball, that's a bit too much on it for Alex McGrath to catch it. Shannon even trying to find a way to get in behind the Cowell defence. from Taylor Gray. Nagels that. Oh! Wow! Brett Jones with the shot just over the bar but in space. I knew they're still threatening. They've got to make one of those count. To get back into the game. Let's see that again because that was a good shot. Just a little bit too high. See, bam, just slips it across the top of the bar. Referee sees a foul over there. Cow. Trying to get it. Shot across. Oh, right across the goal. No one there. To touch it in from Cal. All it took to was a touch. That was a great cross. Corner on the near side, Cal. Going for the second goal. Let's see what they do. Save from Kevin Gonzalez there. So it's a goal kick, and after he wants it, check the player who's injured. So Cowper Chanier got to wait on that one. Bit of time wasting going on there. Crowd not liking that too much. The referee wants it taken for the right spot at the right place. And uh, not happy with that. But uh, a little bit of time wasting. Crowd not happy about that at all when Chattanooga was trying to get the game going again. on a massive run they gave past almost four players. Cal keeping it in, the Chattanooga players appealing for a throw in, but the uh, game has really speeded up in the last few minutes. Kawashima they're trying to come through. Out for the throw, Chattanooga throw. It's really speeded up the game. <laughs> substitution coming up, it's like Roddy Green waiting to come on, number 17. Look at Gray's got two or three defenders looking after him right now there. Cal, a little bit scared of Taylor Gray. Cero now. All the Cal players in the last third of the field, they're just hanging around their box now, trying to make sure they protect this lead. Take the option, is it across? Too much on it, and that just goes out for a goal kick. 
Here comes substitution. So, so Cadono coming off for Cal. Fuerte coming on for Cadono, number five. And then let's see. It's like Ian Saro coming off. Ian Saro coming off for uh, Roddy Green, a striker. Oh, no, Chris Bermudez, sorry, get my numbers mixed up there. Chris is fast and a good striker. We'll see if he can make a difference for the last few minutes of the game. Sorry, Chris Bermudez, not Roddy. Sorry, Roddy. <laughs> Giving a bit of credit there. Robertson wants to come down the right wing. Got Brett Jones open. Back to Richard Dixon. Chattanooga the building patiently, but you can see that clock. Just as well as you there, you can see they've got a few minutes to do something. Travis Ward trying to come through into a collision. Travis gets a knock. Looks like we may have a free kick to Chattanooga. Laborio. Getting some things off his again. Oh yeah, it's just a collision really, but knee contact and that hurts when your knee is going at high speed. That's right on the knee joint. Well, they're both okay. But, uh, Trust me, those things hurt, folks. You've played soccer, you know how much it hurts if he's going in fast. All right, Bermudez, Nagelslap, Gray over this ball. Let's see which of them does. Does a bit of magic. Looks like Nagelslap. Nagelslap, good save. Antoine. Gets the second bite at it and keeps hold of it. Two Chattanooga players steaming in for the loose ball, but Antoine quick enough to hold it. That's why he's got these clean sheets this season, folks. And I think he's the, probably the most successful goalkeeper in the, in the West Division at the moment. All right, all the way back with dribbling. So we have four minutes of extra time to play, folks. The uh, referee will keep the time on the field, but uh, four minutes of time is still plenty of time to get a goal. Added time sponsor by HHM. Need more time for your business? Consult HHM. Let's see what Chattanooga have got. Antoine Ball from the ball. That classic goalkeeper time wasting move. Chattanooga can make something happen. Everybody in the crowd is willing them on. The support is still huge here. Okay, he gets the touch and pulled down for his trouble. I'll see a Lopez pulling him down, protesting his innocence, but it doesn't do any good. Free kick to Chattanooga on the near side. McGrath coming to take it. Crowd on their feet. Willing Chattanooga get this ball in the back of the net. Robertson trying to find Brett Jones straight into Antoine's waiting hands for that header. A good move, but Antoine able to gather it. Two minutes of extra time played. Gonzalez gets it back out fast. Chattanooga have to build another attack going. 
Travis Ward calling for the ball open on the near side. Here he comes on the left wing. He's got Gray outside him. Gray's magic turn and touch, and he goes down. No foul called. Can't get the ball back. Oh. Dixon wins it. No foul. Bermudez. McGrath still charging in. Cleared. Back to Martinez. Martinez looking for someone. Richard Dixon. And he goes gets it to Travis Ward. Touched on. McGrath trying to find Brett Jones. He does. He's pushed wide. McGrath comes in again. On his own. Good support from Robertson. All the Cal players in their 18-yard box just about making sure they form a wall to keep the ball out. Trying to push it away. Chan to throw on the far side. In the last minute of extra time. Can we get some drama? Can we get a goal? Richard Dixon. McGrath. And that's not a great pass. And Cal break it up. Martinez gets it back. One last chance. Get it in the box. There's something happening. McGrath with it. Can he keep it in? He cannot. It's a corner at Chattanooga. The pressure is on. They really are. In the last few minutes here, hanging on. Corner kick. A chip for a corner kick. Chattanooga have everybody up. Everybody up in the box. Can they get that goal? Can they get the equaliser? The tension is huge in the stadium. Nobody's sitting down, everybody's up. Here we go, long ball, nodded down. Ow! No. <laughs> and that's the last kick of the game from Martin Snagglestack. Cannot keep it down. I think the referee's blown the whistle, he has, and that's it. Cal get the win, 1-0. California United Strikers on the road get the three points. That was a tough, close game, folks, the teams in the... Top of each East and West Division. Cal United coming away with the win. Just that one goal. Thank you for staying with us tonight on 11 Sports. We appreciate you staying on a weeknight. Hope we could bring you the game. All the excitement. Lots of fun. Just uh, that one goal. It was that close. So if you want to see Chattanooga again, come back August 20th. See us play Michigan Stars August 31st against Metro Louisville. Chattanooga on the road next week, as I said, to Syracuse Pulse. Thanks for joining us at 11 Sports. Thanks to the uh, stream team here at Chattanooga FC. It's been great having you. Hope you've enjoyed the game. I'm Simon Neal. I'm going to sign off with some highlights and a great view of the scenic city down here in Chattanooga. But thank you all for watching. Have a great evening. Take care wherever you are. And uh, we'll see you again next time as a game at Finley